I've worked in restaurants all my life, and no matter which ones I've been employed at, regardless of the menu, clientele, seating capacity, or anything else that makes one restaurant different from another, there's always one constant, one thing that remains the same from store to store. And that's the staff. Everyone from the front of the house to the back, servers, cooks, busboys, and dishwashers, are all totally insane. And to work somewhere as chaotic as a restaurant, you'd have to be. You're constantly on stage, putting on a show and working against impossible deadlines that get progressively more difficult to meet as the night goes on. But there's something about that, about completing a difficult service without breaking something, walking out, or punching a manager in the face that's endlessly satisfying. Which is why Counterfight and Counterfight Samurai Edition are both games that resonate with me so completely on a personal level. The differences between Counterfight and its slightly improved Samurai Edition sequel are minimal, so if you like one, you like them both. The primary difference is cuisine. Counterfight proper has you working solo in a ramen shop, while Samurai Edition is all about rice, so it's just a slight variation on the same formula. Either way, you're tasked with prepping, cooking, and serving food, each dish made to match the specific order of the customer. Unlike something a bit more complicated like the diner duo, Counterfight keeps things simple, and it's more about time management than creating a deviously complicated dish. Customers come in, and you need to make their order as fast as possible to score as many points as you can and keep them from getting angry and leaving hungry. Occasionally, or maybe I should say a little too frequently, you'll have to deal with robbers who have a tendency to stop by at the worst time possible, forcing you to stop what you're doing, grab something, and throw it at them to deter them from their devious ways before getting back to the task at hand. It seems like a lot to handle at first, almost impossibly so, but once you learn the dishes and get into the groove, Counterfight becomes actually fairly addictive, with a couple of game modes and online leaderboards that'll keep you coming back for another try. As ridiculous as it might sound, both versions of Counterfight require a bit of room to play. You'll be reaching far left to crack eggs one second, then a moment later you'll be reaching way to the right to grab a beer out of the fridge, an action that caused me to slam my move controller into the wall more than once. This is the same room I played 30 hours of Spark in, pretty much hassle-free, so keep that in mind before you start your session. My only other piece of advice is to play the tutorials in both games before even attempting to play them. Even though each dish is really simple, the tutorial will teach you everything you need to know in minutes, rather than wasting a ton of frustrating time experimenting on your own, which of course is what I tried to do. These are relatively simple games overall, and shouldn't take long to master, though if you're trying to decide which one to buy, there are a couple of key differences to keep in mind. Besides changing up the venue, Samurai Edition adds not only a slow-motion bullet-time power-up when you feed the neighborhood cat, but also a samurai sword for protection against aggressive customers. Samurai Edition also allows you to use chopsticks instead of automatically assigning them to your right hand like the original. Each one does occasionally sport some pretty wonky physics, and you won't always grab the thing you're trying to grab with those giant mitts. Besides that though, it's fairly smooth sailing, and you can expect the same clean graphics, cute cartoon style, goofy music, and frantic gameplay, regardless of which one you choose. Needless to say, Counterfight and Counterfight Samurai Edition are both really fun, really stressful, but like real restaurant work, also pretty rewarding. It's a shame they weren't included together in one package. Referencing Diner Duo again, that game had the diner, winter mode, and the cupcake shop all under one roof. But again, it's a pretty minor complaint, considering that the price is right, even when purchased separately. We're not breaking any new ground here, no matter how you look at it. But Counterfight is fun, and sometimes that's all that matters. <laughs>